So in this video we're going to go over how to find the terminal point of a vector if we're given the initial point and the vector. So write the vector v equals twice i plus 3k in component form and then find the terminal point of the vector v if the initial point is p, uh, the initial point p is the point 2, negative 1, 3. So this is, remember the uh, the unit, standard unit vectors are i, j, and k. So here I have twice i, so the vector v is going to be equal to twice i, which is the vector 1, 0, 0, plus 3 times k, and k is the vector 0, 0, 1, so when we put these together, we get the vector 2, 0, and 3. And notice we, we didn't really need to, to do this. this. This means the x component is 2. There is no j, so it's 0j. So the y component should be 0. And the z component should be 3. So we could, have, could really have gone straight to here. And so here's the idea. We're given the initial point for a vector. Here's the point p. p is this point right here, 2 negative 1, 3, and we don't know the terminal point. We don't know the point x, y, z. That is the terminal point for this vector. But what we do know is that the vector v was constructed by using its terminal point and its initial point. So v was found by taking x minus 2, taking y minus negative 1, and taking z minus 3. And after they did the subtraction, we wound up with the vector 2, 0, 3. So what that tells us is that x minus 2 has to equal 2. It tells us that y minus negative 1, which is y plus 1, that tells us that y plus 1 has to equal 0, and z minus 3 has to give us the z component of 3. So solving this for x, we get x equals 4, we get y equals negative 1, and we get z equals 6. So the terminal point was q, 4, negative 1, 6.